Merry Christmas, Colorado National Guard, Chaplain Nagel, full-time support chaplain and senior army chaplain. We're so excited to continue our Season of Light series. Last week we did Hanukkah with Chaplain Gorelick, and today, as a Christian chaplain, we're talking about Christmas. I'm excited to have my daughter Allie with us today. Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> Christmas has always been such a special time for our family. As a kid, I loved Christmas. I still do. And I had a hard time sleeping on Christmas Eve, waiting for Santa Claus to show up and wondering what was underneath the tree. I still remember one of my favorite Christmases when I finally got my Nintendo with the original Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt and uh, how magical that was and then to get a drum set as well. But then as I grew older, I started to realize that Christmas was something much more. What, what's it been like for you as you grow up? Christmas is my favorite holiday, and I love all the memories I've made with friends and family, with ice skating, and white elephant Christmas gift exchanges, and all those silly little traditions. But as I've grown up, I have come to realize that things aren't the same as it was for me as a kid. I mean, when I was little, nothing else mattered except Christmas all of December. But now I have to still focus on school and midterms and a job, and it gets overwhelming. And I feel sad because things just don't seem as exciting or joyful anymore. But then I once saw this message that explained the message of Christmas, and it said, where there is love, hope, light, and life, the plan and purpose of God will reach. And then that was what remind, reminded me, was that, you know, Christmas isn't about all those silly little traditions. Sure, they're really fun, and I love to still spend time with friends and family and do those fun things together, but that's not what's going to bring me joy this season. It's through giving and sharing the love with everyone. But one word especially in that message that stood out to me was hope. Having hope this Christmas is so important. Hope that God will provide for you. Because if you count on anything else, that's not going to satisfy you. So, you know, that's what is keeping me joyful this Christmas, is having that hope in God this Christmas. I think that's beautiful. And to hear your own daughter say that is really heart tugging for dad. We know in Israel at that time, the people had lost hope. 400 years of silence. Where was God? And in comes this baby, Jesus, and gave us this tremendous hope that light can pierce the darkness and give us purpose and meaning and hope. So this Christmas season, as we light the Advent candle and and sing songs and, and worship together and, and follow the traditions of our respective families. We want to, as a chaplain for us, wish you a very Merry Christmas. Thank you for allowing us to walk with you through the ups and downs of 2021. And we'll be there in the years ahead to help carry those burdens as we celebrate the traditions of life together. Hello, I'm State Chaplain Joe Murphy, and we're here today to tell you about some of the Christian traditions that people might be celebrating this time of year as they get ready to celebrate Jesus' birth on Christmas Day. And what I have before me is an Advent wreath along with the candles. So I'll explain a little bit of that. And first I'm gonna go ahead and light the two that are lit by this time in the season. And each one of these four candles has a little different meaning attached to it. The four candles correspond to the four Sundays before Christmas Day. So that's why we're only that far along. In some ways, it's like a calendar. It tells you where you are in Advent season. So a lot of people have one of these. Maybe it's at their church. Some people have one, a small one at home, and the family gathers around for, maybe it's dinner time. They can sing a Christmas carol or an Advent hymn or something before dinner, and they'll light these on the table. Um, this first one is sometimes called the, the hope, the candle of hope, or the prophecy candle, because the coming of the Savior was prophesied, and all Israel waited for God to fulfill their hope of a Messiah. The second candle is sometimes called the love candle, and it's a reminder of Joseph and Mary traveling to Bethlehem, and the love of God being fulfilled in the gift of his Son. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. It's also sometimes called the Bethlehem candle. Now this one, people wonder, why is it a different color? It's considered a rose color candle. That is a candle of joy. It's sort of the, the third Sunday along, 
and it's getting closer to Christmas, and there's great joy, and it's a reminder of the shepherds who heard in the field the words of the angels, good news of great joy for all the people. And then as you really get close on the fourth Sunday of Advent, that is known as the peace candle. And it's also known as the angel's candle because that, that same angelic message to the shepherds contained the words, peace on earth and goodwill to men. So when those four candles are lit and we light then the center candle on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, that represents Christ. So it's the Christ candle, the light of the world who came for us. And so it's one of the many traditions that some Christian families might celebrate in the weeks before Advent or before Christmas Day, and really a time to focus on the meaning of the season and the joy that we share on Christmas Day. So I wish you all God's blessings, God's joy, and his peace this Christmas. Christmas. Say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.